Hello everyone, it's Michael from Leighton's on Friday the 10th of March. The snow's just about gone, sun shining through, it's quite a nice day now. So just wanted to do a, another quick video just with a bit of an update for you all on what the local housing market is like. Um, in a nutshell, it's very busy. Uh, it's a totally different market to what we've been used to over the last couple of years. Um, I think if, if you're in the market now, whether you're buying or whether you're selling and you're still kind of looking back and referring back to how the market was in 21 and 22, you know, just get that out of your head. This is a totally different landscape, a totally different market, a buyer's market. You know, there's a lot more choice out there. As soon as there's more properties come up for sale than there are people purchasing, the, it, shifts, it shifts from a seller's market to a buyer's market. And that's exactly what we're finding. If your house is up for sale at the moment and offers are being made and you think, oh, it's perhaps a little bit too low, you have to expect in this kind of market that you have to negotiate. You know, if an offer's made on your property, if it doesn't make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, I suppose, with the amount that's being offered, the chances are it's not a good, a, a good option or a good offer of, uh, for the buyer. So, you know, you do expect to have to negotiate to some extent. I think at the moment on our agreed sales so far, uh, this month for about 98.3% of asking price achieved. You go back to six months ago, you know, it was upwards of 99, getting close to 100% of asking price achieved. So that's where the shift has come in. As I said before, there's a lot more choice now for people. Uh, so far, or up until the 9th of March, so from the 1st until the 9th of March, 20, sorry, no, 31 new houses came up for sale within our area. You compare that to the same nine days in 2022 and the only 23 houses came up. So more houses are coming up for sale. But somewhat surprisingly, I'm sure for some people, those same nine days in March this year, 32 sales have been agreed in the area. Compare that to the same period in 2022, there were only 10. So it's not all doom and gloom. You know, you can find positives really if, if you do look deep enough and say so for me this is a real good indication that it is a buoyant housing market it's just managing those expectations of homeowners that is not 22 you know kind of kind of uh, housing market it is a buyer's market they're expecting to negotiate they've got more choice but what that means as a homeowner is that you've probably got more time as well if you're thinking about moving and you're reluctant to put your house up for sale because there's nothing there that's suitable there's more houses coming on, they're not selling as quick, so you've got more time on your side as well to make sure that this move really does work for you. A lot of, the t a lot of people over the last couple of years have probably felt a little bit rushed into moving, um, wanting to save on stamp duty, knew that it was a seller's market, new properties were selling overnight. As I say, it's a different landscape now. It's a buyer's market, there's more choice for buyers, there's more time for buyers and more time for sellers and more choice for sellers as well. But overall, it's just a lot more relaxed, a lot more, a lot nicer market. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, there's a lot less stress involved, which let's be fair, you know, we, need, we all need as little stress as possible in our lives. So moving home is one of the most stressful things that you can do. But providing that you've got your 2023 housing market head on and not your 2021, 2022 housing market head on, this is the, a really nice time to be selling, a lot more relaxed. Um, a lot nicer all round and you know long may that continue and I'm sure it will as we get into the into the spring and summer months people moving up the property ladder um, will find that there's a lot more choice out there admittedly the vast amount of interest or, or inquiries that we're seeing and the new homes that are coming up for sale and the sale the properties that have been sold are up to a, the sort of the 250 market showing signs though edging over that mid to, you know late two, two, uh, 200,000 mark edging up to 300,000 typical for for a normal housing market, it has that knock and effect as we get into the spring and summer months, people moving up the property ladder uh, will we'll see that there's more sales being agreed at the higher end properties. So if you're on the market and you're at that sort of, sort of higher mid, sort of high end, and you're not getting much interest, it's nothing to worry about, hold tight, the market will get there uh, before you know it. So if you have any questions, if you're looking at moving, if you want to uh, speak to us about anything, do get in touch. And uh, yeah, let's see what next, so what this month brings. I'll do the, uh, the quick report uh, next month to hopefully I'm expecting to see more activity, £300,000 plus. But uh, yeah, watch this space. Any questions, as I say, get in touch. I'll see you next month.